Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurd. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. A question came up online. How do you rebuild the SIG pots of a credenza? This is the illustrious SIG pot. This bracket here bolts to your lid. This top piece here bolts from the inside. This bracket here bolts to this. So the motor board's sitting here where my hand is, and that's how it works. This one's kind of destroyed, but that's how you have to get them out. First, you have to take the back off your credenza. You have to lift the lid. You're going to need help. You want to unbolt one of them. One SIG pot or one One hand? SIG pot. Take it, take it wherever you're going to go, to the garage or wherever, and clean it up. So let me discuss this. I'm going to remove this one. This is what the SIG pot looks like taken apart. This is the bracket. You have two screws. We have the tube that it goes into. And then this goes in this way, where the screwdriver is, because this is the top and this is the bottom. And now here's the, the big boo boo and everybody makes a mistake. This spring and those two ball bearings fit in that hole which holds the leather gasket, the washer, and the screw. This goes to the bottom. This goes in first, then the, the ball bearing, then the two springs and the brass piece. I'll discuss that later. The retaining ring, and then this screw goes into the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this. This might be a little long. So we want to get this ramrod out. You see I've disassembled it. You need a screwdriver and a crescent wrench to get this nut off. You don't want to take this and go like that because those two ball bearings are going to go boink and I had that happen many years ago. You need a towel or a rag preferably and you want to hold this, wrap it around it. open it up and there's a ball bearing there's the other ball bearing mm -hmm. I can see how that would go sure. and there's the spring <laughs> and I was a young guy trying to fix this hacksaw and file I did this on my first our first credential you know, went boop and I'm going oh shit <laughs> <laughs> so now you want to take this apart and you see here on the one that I disassembled and haven't cleaned, you see all the goop crap at the bottom of the nut? I've cleaned this nut. So what we're going to do... Why do you have blue tape on that? Tells me that it's on, this goes on the right side of the machine. So you label each side? You label each side. You gotta take a towel or something. And you want to go from the top down, I use a stick. This is like cleaning a gun barrel. Yeah, we got a lot of crap out of there. I want to look inside. Okay. Now we have the rod. We're going to wipe the rod off at the end. We're going to get all this crap off. This piece here is leather.
pull the, the leather apart, swipe off the end. We're going to wipe all the crap off the leather. These are made out of leather. So what happens is the leather compresses in on the tube in here. So here's the trick. You want to bend it out a little. You want to give it a little more less elasticity. Elasticity. That's where I have my angel. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to look for cracks, no cracks. These were molded at the factory. You need the sewing machine oil. So what is your oil? I oiled the thread. Now you're putting it back together. Now I'm putting it back together. What you're going to do is you're going to add a little oil to the outside of the leather. Just going to coat that like that. Now the fun part starts. First of all, before we reassemble, there's a hole in the tube. You have to find this hole and make sure that hole's clear. Blow it out with the compressor. Let me stick a toothpick in there or something. I just want to make sure that's. They get clogged up with crap. It doesn't matter what way you put it in because this will pivot. You're going to hold both ball bearings and it will go boom. It will go. You hear that lock? That's the ball bearings. And that feels good. Now, off camera, I cleaned this spring that goes in to this piece here. But there's a hole through the brass thing, and the ball bearing fits on there like that. So we're going to drop the ball bearing in. We're going to drop the screw in, the spring, the spring with the brass. There's two springs. There's a spring on the inside, and there's a spring on the outside. I've taken them apart and cleaned them. We're going to insert those. I've pre-oiled this. Want a little dab on the oil. Some of these SIG pots that Victor built have different sizes on the end of the tube. So if you're missing a part, you really have to be careful if you're buying another part that you're getting the right thread size. And that's, everything should screw in nicely and easily. Off camera, I pre-tested everything 
I made sure that it, the threads were clean, everything was working. about all you need just a little bit right now. There you go. Now when you adjust it, because the lid is heavy, you want to put a little bit of oil down the tube. You hit, now listen, you hear it. You hear that end piece? Now it's working. Once it's in the machine, once you have rebuilt both of them, this is the tension. So you have your sweet angel putting the lid up and down for you. You're going to be in the back and you're going to go a little tighter or a little looser till you have it the way you want it. Mine, I have it so it comes down and then goes down here like this. It'll close very slowly. It's a lot of fun when you show people that, you know, a Vicker machine has a shock absorber on it. You know, I go, watch this cool trick that when they built this $200 phonograph, pop the lid and the lid goes shh. And that's all it is to doing it. Now, when you put it back into the machine, you can align this. You see how that turns? Okay. Wipe a little oil on. You want to polish out your gold before rebuild? That's really good. Now you'll insert this because this pivots like that. And that's how you rebuild an orthophonic hydraulic SIG pot shock absorber for your lids. It's a lot of fun and that's my tip for the day.